myself professor pawar bk from department of geography jt art science and commerce college for women maligao on behalf of this video presentation i welcome you all dear students now in this video we will see the work of wind now we will see the landforms of wind erosion or the really features created by wind erosion first is blow outs wind erosion is accomplished through two processes deflation that is lifting of sand and abrasion sand blast action of wind upon the surface deflation results due to air currents while abrasion needs wind borne sand or dust that may act as tool of erosion due to effect of depletion the surface layers in the hot deserts are removed because the material is loose and unconsolidated the wind with its scooping action makes hollows of various sizes as a matter of fact any dimple on the arid or semi arid surface is like to promote the process of depletion because wind eddies are set up in action those slowly become enlarged due to dismissal of sand dust and the hollow becomes deeper as well as broader in size the depth may be of few meters but they may broaden into kilometers such wind blown hollows or depressions are known as blow outs as the material is blown away by the whirling action of wind worcester courts one of the biggest hollow known as big hollow is yoming state of usa it is 90 meters deep 14.4 kilometers long and 4.8 kilometers broad it is estimated that about 10000 million tons of dust have been excavated by the wind there are several blowouts in the high plains of north america katara depression in western egypt is deepest wind blow out or hollow in the world its depth is 132 meters below sea level it lies on the limestone plateau surface kalahari desert texas in usa great victoria desert western australia mongolian desert and turkey desert exhibit number of blow outs in the world almost all arid and semi arid regions bear such blow outs as feature of wind erosion now next is or the second feature of wind erosion is ventifacts and dry canters ventifacts is a latin word for wind and made or made by the wind the surfaces of boulders or pebbles are faceted and polished abrasion is more active on the windward side so that it is polished by tool of sand ventifacts may have such several vertifacts their common shape is triangular and three faces are normally seen hence they are known as dry canters the german word denotes three faces the three faced ventifacts and multifaceted ventifacts result in such a way <coughs> number 1 the some boulders or pebbles which are heavier so that cannot be lifted by wind but are subject to blasting of sand driven by wind in powerful blow second at one time the prevailing wind may abrasive one surface then 
the change of wind direction may cause another surface to be abraced so that two faces get abraced number 3 by one way or the other when the pebble is shifted to new position third or more than three sides face abrasion by wind thus multifaceted ventifacts are created so these were the ideal conditions for the formation of ventifacts and dry canters next is or the third erosional features of wind is mushroom or a pedestal rock it is another typical feature created due to abrasion by wind blow in semi arid and arid regions of the world when there is difference of rock layers in terms of hardness erosion by wind also differentially shows its work and features bedding planes joints smooth layers of rocks are easily attacked by wind and get eroded faster than the hard layers of the rock various surface features are observed like pitted rock honeycomb structured rocks grooved and fluted rocks pedestal rock is a typical example of differential wind erosion it is also called as mushroom topography in the desert the name mushroom means as the mushroom slope that is the broader at the base and narrower at the inside or towards the ground they seem like the mushrooms and hence the rock is classified as the mushroom rock pedestal in the sense it looks like a pedestal fan when the fan it stands like the upper fan or broader end at the upper side and the stand narrow stand at the lower side as it looks like a pedestal fan and hence the name resembles that is like a mushroom or pedestal rock the undercutting uh, the swirling of wind at the base erodes the basal rocks mass smooth in character while upper smooth layer also gets action of wind blast and it is eroded further than the hard layers in between such features of characteristics features of wind abrasion the undercutting is more stronger than the upper rock masses it is the effect of scratching eaching undercutting and scoring by wind the next feature of wind erosion is yardangs now these yardangs are the erosional features which are found in the deserts all over yardangs result by wind born sand erosion when the wind blows steadily in one direction over a long period of time the tabular rock masses become irregular in form its sides are deeply undercut by wind born sand yardangs are separated by wind corridors since the wind takes away the eroded matter and blows irregular open spaces their height is about 5 to 10 meters but width may vary from 30 to 50 meters yardangs are found on large scale in deserts of central asia yardangs look like ribs of rocks its sides are quite deep they run for great distance sand separated from one another by hollows or grooves now the next feature of erosion or wind erosion is jujen now jujens is a german word jujens result when there are rock layers of alternate hard and soft rocks which lie in horizontal direction on one another in such situation due to weathering or other tectonic reasons small cracks are developed 
in the hard rock layers such cracks in the hard rocks are points of weakness for abrasion the wind scratches rubs erodes the cracked surfaces more easily than the rest of the rock the cracks become wider and wider with erosional strain of wind and expose the soft rocks